<sighs> it's almost midnight, Rodrigo. I think we should be getting back. It is really kind of late, don't you think? Late? It could be too late for me if I don't start understanding what I'm beginning to feel for you. And only you can put a name to what these feelings really are. I don't know Maria de Los Angeles. I only know your eyes, your enchantment, and that deep sadness behind your innocent childish smile. I close my eyes and I ask myself the same question a thousand times. What should I call that feeling growing inside of me? Could it be some terrible fear? Fear to be the child I once was who made up impossible love stories. The child who would return again and again to the cinema to fall in love again with the beautiful girl up there on the screen and dream that it was my lips that kissed hers. Or could it be that I'm dreaming? Or can I truly say that I'm in love? Only you can answer this question. Only you can say this is really love or not. yours, Maria de Los Angeles. And you have the right to take as much time as you need to tell me your answer, to be really sure. I know how to wait. Come on. Let's go. I don't want you to be late. Mm. You said that we had to kill the snake by striking it on the head. Uh-huh. Ah, that's it. I have found our only solution. We need to kill her, Ahelia. We need to kill her. Those are extremely dangerous words on your lips, Rosalinda. They are both dangerous and serious. No. There is no reason why it has to be dangerous if we are very careful. You know that you hate that woman as much as I do. Ahelia, if you help me, we will send her to suffer in the flames of hell eternal. And most importantly, we will save Maria de Los Angeles and also Andrea Cordoba. She will be able to enjoy the Cordoba Escalante fortune which is so rightfully hers. Ahelia, that is our only way out. Believe me, our only solution. You know your wish is my command, mistress. <laughs> The idea has crossed my mind many times. This idea, taking the life of Rokidia. And now that we have decided that we are ready, I feel so powerful, confident. Some pity. Don't kill him. 
Just make sure he remembers every single time. He put his dirty hands over my body on Orquídea Cordoba Escalante and tried to make me behave like his little whore. Our rooster is about to crow. Shut up! Good morning! Good morning! Now eat up, kids! Eat up! Oh, you kids! Huh? Look! Now look at this! Look at all the fishing we did! Here we are! Hey! Hey! Yes! Hi! Hey! Oh, hey! Hi, love! Hi, love! I'm fine. How are you? Now, my love, take a look at this man! He's a phenomenon! He knows exactly where to find the fish. He has them jumping right into his arms. <laughs> Golly, he speaks to them from his heart. That's how he's done. <laughs> I wish that certain people I know would fall for me just as quickly. But that's not how it is. <laughs> and considering I'm so generous. Keep trying. Come on, eat up now. Now eat. And you, eat up. Eat your food. Yeah. It'll make you grow up big and strong. Come on. Nothing left. Nothing left. One, two, three. Uh, I have a surprise here. Away. Look. Me. Look, darling. Let me see. What are those gifts? Who could they be for? I don't know. <gasps> it's a birthday present for you. Oh, thank you. But it's enough just to have you here living with us. <laughs> Man, what could it be? Open it, darling. <laughs> He's so kind. Oh. <gasps> Wonderful smell. Yes. It smells what? of flowers. Mm. Oh. <laughs> it's wonderful. Thank you, Jorge. You're welcome. You know, I think we'll have to go out and celebrate this, don't you? What do you think, huh? Jorge. Jorge. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. What is that other gift for? You smell beautiful. This other gift is for the spoiled brat staying among us, the ungrateful Maria de Los Angeles. Yay. Last night, as soon as that pathetic little puppet arrived, she ran out to his car. She doesn't know how to appreciate what I sing for her. The pretty songs I sing for her. Open it. Open it. Go on. Open it! Open it! Open it, Open it up now. Let's see what's inside. Okay, okay, okay. I'll do it, all right? What is that in there? What's the meaning of this? Disposable diapers? Of course. Now you can wear them during the night. They'll stop you wetting the bed. Why that face? Isn't it true? You do wet your bed at nights. <laughs> I thought that this gift would solve your embarrassing little problem. Those diapers were very expensive. The best the money can buy. <laughs> of course, if it's not the brand you like, I can always go back and exchange them. Okay then, kids. Now, if you've done eating, let's go back inside. Yeah. No, 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 no. I count to three and you're all gone. No arguing. Go on. Go on going. No, no. Time to get out of here. Go no, on with you. Come on, come on. I'll see you later. Listen come to your papa, okay? No arguing. Go on. Yeah, we'll see you later. So, aren't you even going to thank me? You really are a spoiled brat, aren't you? Ah, uh, this young fellow is playing a dangerous game now, huh? You're right, do you know that? I've been very ungrateful after the way you've been so generous to me. And I agree, you do have something coming to you. Oh boy, another lucky one. <laughs> I do believe the little brat is gonna give something to me. A little kiss? I'm ready for you. Mm. You're a stupid, vain, good-for-nothing jerk! Why don't you keep these 
these diapers for yourself at night. You're so pathetic, you idiot. I wish I could choke you with these to stop your hideous singing. You sing like a demented donkey. <laughs> no, no, Marino Los Angeles. I'm sorry to poke my nose into this. But this man sang a very beautiful serenade just for you. Serenade? I'll give him a serenade. <laughs> Take this for your serenade. Take this. That's it, get out Take that. Hey, no, no, I like it like that. Tonight I'm going to serenade you. I'm going to serenade you with my most special song, especially deserving of a lady like you. <laughs> Save your screeching for other asses. I hate you. I just want to kill you. You, you bastard. No, no, no. Kill me slowly, please. I want to die looking into those beautiful eyes of yours. <laughs> kids, kids, stop this. You're going to hurt each other. Don't worry, don't worry, Francisca. It's just harmless fun. I'll pay for, ah, I'll pay for any damages, no problem. Ah. Maybe this will improve your singing voice. Hooray! You're such an ignorant pig. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give you some advice, Jorge de la Rosa. You need some instruction to learn some manners. You need to learn many things if you ever hope to be a gentleman. There are things called being delicate, respect, gallantry, sweet words and consideration that we all deserve. You don't have any of these virtues. However, Rodrigo Arevalo has all of them. You've never thought about who I am. You've never stopped to think that through these veins flows a river of personal history. Pain and loneliness. But I also carry beautiful things. A caring heart. Sweet words and gentle gallantry that I could offer only to you. But with a treasure like you, words cannot begin to satisfy. Proof is by action. So listen to me, Maria de Los Angeles. Here's my advice. Don't rule your life by the cheap words and evil lies of that joker, Rodrigo Aravalo. He's nothing but a selfish user of women. I know that kind of man only too well. I tell you this because I care for you. I don't want to see you getting hurt. Now I'm leaving. I'm a bother for you. And before bothering you, I'd rather leave. And you'll never see me again. Go if you like. But don't do it for me. If it's for me, you can stay. Are you still here? I don't get it. Weren't you leaving? But if you want, you can stay. I don't really care. This is Marie Dolores Angeles. I apologize. I know I've been very rude to you. But well, I'm going to do my best to be nice to you from now on. Well? But tell me, what exactly was it about those diapers that you didn't like? <laughs> you see? You see, why do you always have to be such a stupid fool? Maria, Jorge, please come. There's something going on inside. Julio Enrique and Linda Cristina, please come. Please, please, please come in. Please, please come on. What's happened? What's uh, going on? Come, come inside, please. I don't know what's happening. Inmenso, inmenso como el agua del mar. Inmenso, inmenso como el agua del mar. What if we get really sick? I have a picture of San Jose Gregorio. Besides, if we get sick, they say that we go to heaven. And they say that good kids like me and you will turn into angels. We won't do too bad. Oh my God. They're just little children. What do we 
going to eat? What do you think? The same we eat here. Big plates of nothing and empty dishes of anything. And we'll drink dirty water from the river. Besides, I'll leave my food for Rappuccino. And you always leave all your food for Mama because you know that she eats what we leave on our plates because she doesn't have enough. We better get moving now. At least everybody will have more to eat once we've gone. Now, now come here. What is this? What about your mother's tears? Are they not a reason to stay with her? Huh? Don't you ever think about leaving us all? Huh? We love you both. <laughs> That's why we're leaving. It was so that you won't cry anymore. <laughs> I have an idea. Listen, Francisca. Mm -hmm. from, from this day forward, I will be this little angel's stepmother. And I will give him everything he will need. And I will be your papa, Christina. <laughs> I will give you everything you could want. What do you say? You know what that means? I'm going to have to see you every single day. That's right. You'll see me every day. Because you shall be the mother of Julia Enrique. And I'll be Papa to Christina. You and I are practically husband and wife. <laughs> Slow down. Don't go too fast now. Let's be happy to walk before we can run. Then from today we... will have to spend a lot of money on candles to give thanks and praise that the Lord has sent Maria de Los Angeles to be among us here and gave Julio Enrique and Linda Christina a mother and father to love and protect them. Yes, Lord, from today they are their guardians. We shall have to buy candles for all the saints to thank them all. Because today they have blessed us. Today they have blessed the birth of a new family in this house. <laughs> now, Rappuccino is not going to get up in the middle of the night crying because you took his milk for Linda, Christina and me to drink. <laughs> Don't you ever say that you want to die to become angels because you're already my two little angels. Such a good boy. <laughs> Maria, are you there? That's Andrea calling me. I have to go. Uh -huh, okay. I'm going out. Yes, dear. Bye, son. <clears throat> See you. Bye-bye. God bless you. Who's a big, brave boy? Come on, hurry up. Where are you taking me? No time for questions. This is a surprise for you. Huh? Look, it's Rodrigo. Let's get in. Well, where are we going? No time for questions. Let's get in. to drink, Armando. I'll leave that up to you, Bernardo. But I hear on the grapevine that you have a very special new rum that you're going to be launching this year, and that it's the very best in the whole country. So offer me a glass so that I can best judge it for myself. <laughs> You'll see that those rumors are not only true, but they are surpassed. But the problem is that I reserve that drink only for my true friends. What are you trying to say? You say that I, Armando Luján, have not been your friend and solid business partner for many years? Who do I buy my liquor from for my massive national chain of liquor stores? Isn't it you? Didn't I just place an order for two containers from the store I'm opening on the island of Margarita? And I don't ask for payment terms. I've always paid you on the spot. Cash and carry has always been the way we've worked. Those trucks have been stopped by a phone call I placed at the port. When I call them back, they will continue on to Margarita. Or they will come back here. But what have I done to deserve this? What are you trying to say, Orchidia? What have I done? I sent you a message saying not under any circumstances to push ahead with the purchase of Basanta's hacienda. Armando, I want that hacienda for myself. But I heard on the grapevine, as you put it, that you are still showing an interest in purchasing the hacienda. As you well know, Armando, if you continue in going against my wishes, I won't sell you my goods. But that could throw my stores into ruin. That's it exactly. 
And it would be terrible to damage your precious bank account. But what can I do, if you will stand in my way? It will all end in tears, and I'm afraid to say that they won't be tears of mine. This is very simple, Armando. Don't get into something that's too big for you. You must leave a clear message for Adamas Pasanta. You are not interested in buying his silly property. Then you will always be welcomed into this house as a friend. And if you agree, I will immediately pick up the telephone and the trucks that are standing by will continue their trip to Margarita. If not, this is the end of your business. Now, don't start getting angry at me, Armando, or thinking of me as a kind of blackmailer. It's just that I'm a weak, lonely woman who can only try to defend her business as she sees fit. Bernardo? You know, Armando, how much I'd like to buy this property from Madame Espasanta. So either give up on your purchase, or I take you to the cleaners. And you know how good I am at that. No need. This is all very clear to me. Keep your blessed hacienda, and let's continue our trading. I'm not going to ruin my life over some cows and bulls Radamus is selling. Not even if they can sing opera. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful to have friends who can really make us happy? Now come on, Bernardo, pour out that drink and make it a big one. What is this gentleman going to say about our hospitality? Immenso, immenso como el God, that's what I have to do. I have to go back to that. It's the only thing I have left to do. Give me strength, dear Lord, to sell my body again, to return to prostitution. God, God, I'd rather have the pain and the sorrow rather than see my children suffering in this poverty. Francisca, stop. Francisca, <laughs> please don't ever think about doing that again. You are a saint, you know that. <laughs> Look at those eyes. So sorrowful and full of pain and anguish. They remind me of my mother's eyes. Which keep crying inside my own heart. That was many years ago, Francisca. I can hardly remember her face. <laughs> no. She don't. cried as you are now. You remind me so much of that woman, of my mother. No. Maybe it could have been you. No. Maybe you were my lost mother, Francisca. No, 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 John, no. No, no, no. You are a prince to me. I can't imagine myself as your mother. How could the mother of a prince be someone as undeserving as me? How can a prostitute? Give birth to a prince, a prince who can't have a prostitute for a mother, it just can't happen. No! Damas is probably by the pool. I'll take you there. If you like, you can leave your things here on this table. I'll have someone take them to your rooms. Just there. Thank, Thank you. you. I'll go and find someone to take them. Well, I hope. In fact, I'm completely sure you will give everyone a great show. I really need to impress the people who are thinking of buying the Hacienda. And I'm counting on you to do it, Matador. Yes, I know that. Though you know very well what I think about the sale of this place. 
But in spite of everything, Madame is, don't worry. It will all work out fine. I know that it will. Luis, I know. Ah, this pain in my back. It's killing me. Hey. Wretched thing. Look who's coming. Hey, come. Madame is here. Come along. <laughs> Hello, Luis. Hello, Good, to see you. You. Hello. Good to see you. How are you? Nice to see you. Hello. I see you're accompanied Hello. by beautiful How ladies. Are you? It's my pleasure to welcome you. Thank you. And they're about to start enjoying the party. I'm going to get them a couple of drinks, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, you. for those who don't know him, here on my right is one of the greatest bullfighters, Luis de Araje, our official entertainer in this place, and co-owner of everything which you're all going to see coming out of those doors, which is 480 kilos of fierce bulls and cattle. Yes. Isn't that right? Yes, that's it, that's it. Nice okay. to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Andrea. Nice Maria de Los Angeles. You. Well, I have to go now. I need to get everything prepared for later. Excuse me now, please. Mm. Get some nice rest, to meet you. Huh? Well, I'm afraid they'll have to lay down again. My back. You see, it's killing me. Not even doctors with fancy medicines have been able to help me. I'm getting old, I'm afraid. <laughs> Inevitable. <laughs> Natural medicines may be able to help your condition, Mr. Aramis. Have you oh, really? tried it? Mm. Uh, Hello. Hey. Oh. How are you, Mr. Adamas? Him again. I'm sick and tired of meeting him. Hello. Uh, hi. Hi. And talking about natural medicine, here is the champion. I called you here, my friend, because I want to send this annoying back pain on a very long vacation. Huh, okay. I don't know why Mr. Radamus insists on this quack's help. He thinks he's gifted. Where's the pain? He can't cure anybody. Lower back. Oh. I wouldn't be so sure. He seems pretty gifted to me. Skillful. Very skillful. Thank you. I'm going to attend to the other guests. I Excuse hate to me. seem weak, but this is so painful. Lower. Lower. Lower, lower, lower. Oh, that's it, that's it. Just there. Oh. That's the spot. I'm going to develop back pain, too. With this sort of treatment, it's oh. worth it. <laughs> oh, God, this is so painful. Ow. Relax, Mr. Adamas. Oh. This is an ointment made from the two-headed snake. It's very good. All right. It's anti-inflammatory. Okay. Then we mix it with pig dust to give it firmness and substance. Oh. So its effect will last. Listen. Do you have something for the beautiful brunette here who still wets the bed at night? Huh? <laughs> Stop joking about this. It embarrasses me. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah, surprised. Yeah. Still wetting the bed at your age. <laughs> uh, well, I think my back pain is setting off on its holiday now. Uh -huh. mm? Well, that's good. Well done. Uh, the rest is up to nature, Mr. Adamas. Take good care of those hands, my boy. Oh, uh, and those fingers. Oh. oh, my back pain's gone off on its vacation now. That's the idea. Thanks to Mother Nature. And to the mysterious two-headed snake. That's right. Really great. Well, now I'd like to invite you formally to the party we're throwing for the sale of the Hacienda and all that goes with it. Now, it's going to be great. Believe me, this will be the best party. All right. I'd love to. Good man. Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, make yourselves at home. I hope you feel better. Thank you. Make yourselves comfortable, huh? Thank you. Great to meet Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy yourself here. <laughs> See you later. Radames is asking several million for the Hacienda. And I know it's worth it, but I'm not going to pay that. Because the Hacienda will be mine at the price I want. And the price I want is a very cheap one. branches walk.
bitch. Ophelia Kodomar, you're dead! Dead! Uh. Maybe. But not before I take one of you with me. Is it time yet? It is. As we speak, Orchidia Cordoba Escalante is pushing up daisies. Are you sure? Yes, boss. You know I do my job very well. No room for error. You'll soon see. Stay still. Stay still. You've beaten me. Now pull the trigger. This is nothing personal, Mrs. Orchidia. But you know how money is everything, right? So now, rest in peace. And don't haunt me during the night. Thank you, Simon. You're welcome, Mrs. Orcadia. You just saved my life. Never ever think about following me again. I don't accept protection from anyone. Now don't just stand there. Check the body to see if there's any identification. This is not my victim. This is your victim, Orcadia. I hear you still breathe. I take it then you're still alive. And what if I were dead? Oh, it will be very boring for me to have to work for Mr. Vladimir. This one doesn't have identification. Oh, you're really not very popular, Orkidia. It would worry me very much if I were. Somebody tried to kill me, but who? Who? I imagine you brought another car, right? Yes. Of course we did. It's parked further back of the track. Hancho, take care of the truck, will you? Simon, take me straight to the hacienda. The only thing I pray to God is not to let me live through all of this terrible shooting and killing, just to discover that it was Radamas Basanta who ordered my death. I couldn't stand it. Well, Nature Doctor, why don't you prove that you're this brave? Go on. No, he pretends to be a singer, but when it's time to show what he's really made of, his legs begin to shake. Oh, yes. A round of applause, everyone. Bravo, bravo. Don't count your chickens. Not wise. Who said I was a bullfighter? As far as my leg's shaking, maybe you're right. But at least I don't wear the bed at night. A wonderful party, Benito. Yes, sir, it is. Great. Luis is an excellent bullfighter. He sure is. He's incredible. Hello. You said it. Uh, I enjoyed it very much. It's a shame that my back still hurts a little. He's a very gifted young man, that Jorge de la Rosa. The massage was great. He knows what he's doing. Hey, don't let him out of your sight, okay? I want to show him my appreciation. And you know that one had Basanta never forgets a good deed. Benito. Don't worry, I'm on top of everything. Now take this. Mm. Now who's that? Mm. 
Come in. You're very welcome, Mrs. Orchidia. Orchidia. I don't remember seeing your name written among those on their guest list. The invitation to come to the Hacienda was published in all the newspapers in town, wasn't it? So it's a public event. I have every right, and I've come to make you an offer. I want to buy your property, Radamus. Well, you are the most beautiful buyer. And without any irony, your presence here fills my heart with happiness. What else can I say, Orchidia? How can I help it, my dear? If my heart beats only for you. Enjoy yourself here. <laughs> All I ask is that I may gaze at that smoldering face of yours, which is truly possessed of great beauty. Could we talk in private, please? But of course we can. Something wrong? Long ago, when I was a little girl, way before I became a real woman, I already loved you. When I turned into a teenager, I kept on loving you. But when you discarded me to Vladimir Aravalo, I had to so that I could escape that nightmare. Imagine that it was you who was there with me, holding me, caressing me. When I first started to feel my daughter, when she began kicking and moving inside of me, I smiled and dreamed. I convinced myself that the baby was truly yours. But later when I remembered the real truth, I, I would cry knowing that you hadn't filled my womb with your love. You are a most terrible man. But you are the man that I really love. Very tragic things have happened between us, Radames. Many bad things. But I would never, ever try to kill you. I never could, because that would mean my own death. Okay. Why did you try to kill me? Why? Why did you want to order my death? If you want me to be dead, please let me die at your own hands so that when I die, I may be happy. <laughs> Why can't it be as it is when we were children? When we promised to love each other forever, for eternity, even in heaven. Kiss me, please. Kiss me, please so that you may take the very last breath of air from my body. <laughs> what are you talking about? I am really worthless trash, that's true. But I have never loved another man but you, I swear. I would never try to kill you. I would never try to kill you. <laughs> Oh, if that little brat didn't annoy me so much. If he didn't go so far, I would like him. But he's always badgering me and torturing me. Oh, and he thinks I'm some kind of clown to laugh at. I should give him a good punch in the face. Hey, miss. Don't you pay your debts? 
<laughs> oh, yeah? And what do I owe you? What, have you forgotten? I paid 600,000 for just one kiss from your lips. I paid real money, not fake money. Bills, real bills, a pile of genuine notes, hard cash. And now it's payday. <laughs> filled with tears. <clears throat> You're right, you know that. We are completely worthless. We have totally destroyed each other's lives. We've both done that. But there is one thing of which I am sure. You would never, ever wish for my death. And I want you to know this, that I, Radamas Basanta, would not continue to breathe on this earth if anything ever happened to you. How could you think such awful thoughts? <laughs> Deep down in my heart, there is a name inscribed in gold letters. It's in a place that no one can touch. It is the name of a little girl that I loved when I was only a young boy, and I still love. And I know nothing will ever tear this feeling away. The name is Orchidia, the little girl in my life who doesn't know that Radamas Basanta loves her more than he loves his own life, loves her so much that there are no words that can express the depth of my emotions. You are nothing but a damn scoundrel. Who knows exactly what to say to reach my innermost soul and release me? <sighs> <clears throat> Radamus Basanta would not continue to breathe on this earth if anything ever happened to you. How could you think such awful thoughts? <laughs> Deep down in my heart, there is a name inscribed in gold letters. It's in a place that no one can touch. It is the name of a little girl that I loved when I was only a young boy, and that I still love. And I know nothing will ever tear this feeling away. That name is Orchidia, the little girl in my life, who doesn't know that Radamas Basanta loves her more than he loves his own life. Loves her so much that there are no words that can express the depth of my emotions. You are nothing but a damn scoundrel. <laughs> Who knows exactly what to say to reach my innermost soul and release me? a question of dare. I've come for my kiss, that's all. I'm telling you, I paid a lot of money for that kiss with you. A kiss isn't something you can buy in the market. Anyway, who told you I wanted a kiss from you? Uh, and who says you don't, huh? Besides, it's not about whether you want it or not. I paid for that kiss, Maria de Los Angeles. If it was Mr. Acceptable Rodrigo Aravalo, you wouldn't say no. That's none of your business. Rodrigo is a gentleman, nothing like you. I swear, Maria de Los Angeles, one day you'll be mine. 
You were meant for me. Let me go! You're still alive. Who are you? She's my wife. You know her. Since you arrived in Punta Lana, I haven't had the opportunity of being introduced to you. Tell me, Mrs. Basanta, why shouldn't I still be alive? It just popped out of my mouth. I don't know why I said it. Now I'll leave you two alone here to finish your business. I don't want to be in the way here. Even though I have every right to be. Don't you think, Radames? I'm not here to kill anyone either. I'm not a killer. I came here to buy the hacienda. How much do you want? I want 800 million. That would be the max. But if someone offers me 780 million bolivars, I would sell it for that little bit less than the max. Mm. Call it a caprice or whatever you like. But I could not part with my beloved and beautiful hacienda for it to become yours. <laughs> Let me again extend a warm welcome to you and my hacienda for two days of partying. Please enjoy yourself. And welcome. I know that woman. But from where? 
dance? And who's the little nun? Maria de Los Angeles. Who else? <laughs> All she learned at the convent was how to pray. Come and dance with us on the stage. Or don't you have blood in your veins? Aren't you a real woman? So, Maria de Los Angeles, why don't you accept the dare and show him what you're made of? Go on. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, it's just that I don't know how to dance the flamenco. I don't oh, know. Oh, a coward! You were quick to call me a coward in the bullring. Hmm? Come on, I dare you. Oh, God, that wretched woman's still alive. Orchidia's a very intelligent woman. It's scary. But, Helia, we have to think. To think. What is this woman doing in my house? What is she looking for? What does she want? What is going on here? I don't understand. Did she recognize you? Does she know you're Rosie Vargas? No, 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 I don't think so. But you said yourself she's a very intelligent woman. Well, it won't take her that long to work it all out and she'll tell her Oh, my God. Something that I've been able to hide for 20 years, thanks to lies, tears and pain. And my head's busting. My head's busting. I think it's going to explode. <laughs> Look, you're not doing this the right way. You have to be much more careful. That woman is smarter than either of us can imagine. Whatever has to be done, we have to do it with extreme caution. Well, thanks very much for your insights. Yes, yes, you're right. It's men who caused all these problems, but I tell you one thing for sure. That from now on, we can make no more mistakes. Yes, I know. You're right. My daughter! Maria de Los Angeles! That woman mustn't go anywhere near my daughter. If she were to be found dead, all my fears would be laid to rest and I could have peace again. I hate this! I know. I know what to do. I have to find out what that terrible woman was here and find out what she wanted. I just can't stand by and do nothing. Please think, I can't just do nothing! Toro la está mirando entre la jara escondido. Cuando llega la alegre mañana y la luna se escapa del río. El torito se mete en el agua embistiendo al ver 
que se ha ido. Y ese toro enamorado de la luna que abandona por la noche la maná. Romero de los montes le besan la frente y las estrellas de los cielos lo bañan de plata. Y el torito que es bravío y el canto valiente, abanicos de colores, sus patas parecen. ways to get someone to please me, and you just please me. And I have to congratulate you. You're not so boring after all. Excuse me, I have to go. Oh, yeah. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Marvelous. You sing and dance like a true flamenco performer as if you were born in Andalusia. <laughs> Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present the queen of the party? Yay! Yeah! Yeah! Yes, I agree with that. You did a great job, and I congratulate you. I think you're right. She'll be a great queen. Hey, yes. me, Papa. Me? Don't I count for anything? I have to correct myself. There are two queens here today. Yeah. 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 Hey, 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 okay, wait a minute. I won't be left out of this world. Oh, no, 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 not at all. They're all queens for the day. Because today we're lucky enough to have three queens! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Why don't we talk a little about selling your hacienda? All right, Peruso. But I want you to know that I'm intending to get top dollar for La Venaita. No discounts. You'll see, Radames, just how rapid and profitable this transaction is going to turn out to be for you. Very good. Come on. Foxy! Foxy! Well, I finally found you. Look, lots of money to pay for two sweet days of pleasure with you, my honey. Are you interested? I've retired. I've retired, and you know that as well as I do. Thirty thousand? All we have to do is get on with it. Immediately. But you must do me good. I don't want to waste my money. I'm going to cut your head 
off right now, you piece of egg screw it. Huh? Nobody talks to my wife like that, you hear? Yeah, no one talks oh, to my mother oh, like Lewis, that, okay? Lewis, no, Lewis, Lewis, stop well, that. Stop that. Who does he think he's children, talking to, Mom? Please, Can't house. you see Come he's on. drunk? Children. I said, the the guy's a pervert. I don't care. I'm not going in with him still here. Go in the house. Go in the house. Mom! Sorry. Mysterio, please go away. This isn't appropriate. My husband is furious. Please. I'm not scared of that old cripple, and you have no right to turn your favorite client away. Huh? You know, they always talked about whores inside of Mexico. Stories about you fill many a night. I heard just about all I can stand of this. I'm going to kill you with my bare hands. Hey, you hey. son of a bitch. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. What's the matter? Huh? What's wrong? What's the hell has it got to do with you? You don't know your wife's a prostitute? Huh? Be careful what you say. My husband is very good with a machete and he'll kill you if you carry on. Let go of me, man! I want to see that bastard's blood! Let me go! Dan, it isn't worth it. Don't you see this goddamn scoundrel's as drunk as a skunk? Do you want to have a disaster here? The disaster's already started because I'm going to rid the world of this filth now! Let me go before I hurt you, man! Let me go! Oh, are you sure? Did it hurt me as well? Good thinking, friend. Now listen, I know exactly how you feel, but you've got to calm down. Your children have heard everything that's gone on. They know everything. Look there, you see. That's poor Enrique. He's feeling terrible. Your anger's nothing. Think of the child. He's worth more than this idiot. Who are you calling an idiot, huh? I just came here for the usual reason. I'm ready to pay. I'm ready. Just one of the full works. Nothing kinky. Let me at him! Well done, you fool. Do you know what a commotion you're causing here, Mr. Albornoz? Huh? Idiot, are you listening? Huh? These people are happy. They have children and a home here. There are young children. A mother. And you're shouting about prostitutes? This is too disgusting. You're unbelievable! Officer, arrest him. And take him to the prison with the others. Come with me. Listen to Dan. Don't make these threats. It's not at all good for your health. That wretch is going to pay for this. You'll see, my love. I'm going to take him with me to hell. Oh, yes, I am. Oh, my name is Adam Espinosa. Oh, yes, I will. Look, Ramon, since we're going to finalize the sale on the Hacienda La Veneta tomorrow, why don't you stay over? Enjoy yourself. Then we'll sign the deal in the morning, huh? What about it? Yes, yes. And Radames, you know I've been a widower a while now. Mm -hmm. And first, I have to tell you, that young woman who danced today was just up my alley. I think her name was Maria de Los Angeles. If she's related to you in any way at all, well, I'm interested in marrying her. You just tell me how much you want for a dowry, and tomorrow I'll be up the aisle with her. And if you want a church wedding, all the trappings and stuff, it's done. I'm very happy to hear that at your age, love blooms. But I can't do that. Firstly, because I'm not a manipulative busybody. And secondly, because I have no control over her. And if she accepts your offer, it's her decision and hers alone. And the whole thing is a situation between you two and not me. Well, enjoy my hospitality. And we'll meet again tomorrow to do the signing for the Hacienda. I wish you a pleasant stay. Goodbye. Ramon Veruso. I'm very interested in buying this ranch from Radamas Pesanta. Do you think we could come to an agreement? Mm, well, necessity is the mother of invention. Mm. Tell me something useful, and we can talk. Immenso como el agua del mar. 
do me a favor, and it'll be the best investment you ever made. And you know Orchidia Cordoba Escalante never forgets a favor. Get me Maria de Los Angeles. I like her a lot. If she's as good as she looks, then this ranch is yours. Poor fool. Who does he think he's talking to? Mr. De La Rosa, can I have a word, please? What is it? Did you notice the man who just walked out of here? Yes. His name is Ramon Veruso, and he's a sex maniac. I'm sure that he's going to harm Maria de Los Angeles. He may even try to rape her. Now, please, don't ask me how I know this. It's just that seeing how he looks at her, I know he's up to no good. Follow them and watch her. I'm amazed at what you're talking to me about. What do you tell me? I'm a woman. And as a woman, I've noticed that you are also interested in Maria de Los Angeles. And because I hate rapists, and you seem a decent man, and I'm a decent woman. Please believe what I've said. Ramon Voruso. You won't take a single step without me behind you. I swear it. He's too cruel. I wasn't even able to protect my wife's honor. My legs are useless. I'm a coward. Not a man. A half-life. For all the good I am, I might as well be dead. My darling. Oh, my darling. Don't cry. Why do you upset yourself about this? Go no away, Francisca. I'm not worthy of you. I can't defend you or stand up for you even. Look, you've cut yourself so badly. It's nothing, Francisca. Leave me, don't waste your life on garbage like me. You're so beautiful and you could have any man you set eyes on. Forget your crippled coward. Please, Adan, don't say that. It hurts me so much to hear such words. I love you. I thank God for you, darling. Promise me you'll never leave me. Oh, you want a man who can't stand up, can't even make a drunkard respect you? That credit comes here, insults the woman I love so much, who's mother of my children, and I can't even stand up and kill him. I should be able to kill him to protect your honor. I should. Please, I don't want to hear any more of these terrible words, Adan. But he called you a whore. Oh but he's right. I was a prostitute. That's why they call me Foxy. No, my darling. No. That's a lie. It's a lie, my baby. You're an angel. The sweetest angel that ever graced this fair earth. God took pity on us, the helpless, when he sent you here. You're our savior. I adore you, Francisca Salazar. The blood in my veins and every breath in this pathetic wreck of a body. It's all yours. I want to get married to you in a proper church ceremony. <laughs> yes. Oh, darling. Tell me. Who's going to... Go to the church wedding of an ex-prostitute. Oh, no, Francisca. Be here I have come, and I have no right to go to a church. You are one of God's children as well. A wonderful human being. A bright and shining star. I die for you whenever you ask. And wherever. My life is yours for the asking. Because I love you. I love you. I love you, darling. It's just that mm, everything's going so quickly. Listen, Rodrigo, a short time ago, until I left the convent, my life had been like looking out of a window. 
and seeing when it was going to rain, knowing that things were occurring but me not being there, watching the blossoms turn eventually into fruit. But from behind the window, you don't know if the fruit tastes sweet or sour, or if the raindrops that seem to be coming down from the sky are actually raindrops at all, or are they really tears that you're shedding? Now I know that some people decide that looking through a window is okay for them. I want to be certain that you mean what you say, that your words reflect your heart. I don't know, because they sound sweet, but they could turn out in the end to be sour. Maria, I don't want to fill you with empty promises. Far less with tears. I just want to be given the chance to open your window. To love you like you ought to be loved. To do, give you an honest and trusting love. Rodrigo Arrivalo is a man who's there for you. Look, Rodrigo. You are a gentleman, and as such you deserve love. An honest love. A pure, devoted love. And I right now believe that you mean what you say. And I believe you are a reliable man. <laughs> and I think my answer is yes. Yes. So then you will be my girlfriend? I'm sorry, what was that? Maria, you just said you agreed to be my girlfriend. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, you misunderstood me. I said yes. Yes, but yes, I think, think about what you said. <sighs> Try to be patient, Rodrigo. It's too soon to be talking about falling in love. Please don't, don't pressure me. Please don't. Excuse me. Maria de Los Angeles kept her word. She escaped. I don't know how she managed it. We left her getting on a plane to New York. When will there be an end to all the trouble this girl is causing? To top it all, she's staying with that awful Francisca Salazar. What does that child think she's doing? What does she want? I don't know what to do, sister. It's silly to leave the convent. Rosalinda. What to do for your daughter, Maria de Los Angeles? Sister, I just don't know. Please don't be offended by this. But I have to ask you to go because your presence in this house only complicates things more than they already are. Please forgive me. And try to understand, please. I do understand you. And don't worry about me. But she, she needs things. She's got no clothes, nothing. Not even any money. What's going to happen to her, the poor girl? Where is she going to sleep? You have to face the situation once and for all. You must tell Maria de Los Angeles the whole truth. Listen, it can't go on like this. I know that, sister. She Do has it. to go back to the convent. Not permanently. Think up a long-term solution, Rosalinda. I'll do my best. Is it possible that after 20 years I've discovered the two sluts, mother and daughter? I have to find out more evidence that proves what I just heard. And if I do, then this mother and daughter are destined to become history. Could it really be true? 
I'm scared I have to control myself. Wait for me at the stables. I'll meet you there this afternoon. Your mother wants to see you. Oh my God. Give me strength to do this. Already see my mother. I'll look into her eyes and I'll kiss her. No questions yet. I won't tell her off. I'll just hold her to me. my merchandise. I'm very particular. But I must admit that you, you've been reared as a very acceptable mayor. I think you've made a serious mistake somewhere. No, 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 no. You're the right one, and you're worth everything. Come on. Just ask me for anything you want. But I mean to make sure you can perform. Just come here. I can't invest in you without touching the goods. Ah, I've got plenty to give you, Maria. You stay back. You're not going to touch me. Don't touch me! Keep your filthy hands off! I was told. They said you were a top price whore. But that just made me more determined. Come here, you want to come. Come on. I'm gonna have you. I paid for you! Now I do what I like! Ah! Let me go! No! Go with me! No! Didn't the jungle teach you? I'd have thought your little friends, the Indians, would have told you. Don't turn your back on the enemy. And as the saying goes, in love and war, everything's fair. Everything. And as for you, my darling, for you, I'm gonna be the conquering hero. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Food smells delicious, Francisco. Go on. You haven't lost your touch. Can I have a sample? And you haven't lost your bad habits. Now mm. let me choose it for you. Now just a little bit. Mm. Just a little bit. Very small. Mm. Huh? Mm. Mm. <laughs> a banquet fit for a king. <laughs> <laughs> Why is she here? She's a prostitute! You better watch your mouth, Ramon. 
No, Radames. You listen. You watch out. Be very careful. Apart from having your house filled with lowlife who attack you and beat you from behind. Now you want me to eat a meal prepared by this filthy prostitute. She's a complete and total whore. That woman has slept with every man in Punta Juana. You're a big idiot, Radames. Just be careful. Because you know what people say. You know a man by his friends. Do you know who I am, Ramon Zarusu? A man who will never conduct business with a vile hypocrite like you are. Forget buying the hacienda. Because I'd prefer to be stone dead than to sell you my lovely hacienda! Not only did he insult you, Radames, in your own home where he's supposed to be behaving like a guest, but he also tried to rape another of your house guests. <laughs> What did you do? Come into the living room. Come in there and you'll see exactly what he did. This human garbage tried to rape Miss Maria de Los Angeles. No! And when she tried to fight him off, he smashed her with all the force a man has. Fortunately, my son Rodrigo intervened and was able to save Maria de Los Angeles. Because if he hadn't, there's no doubt at all that the poor girl would have become a victim of this sex-crazed fiend. Lies! You come into the living room. You're Lies. gonna pay for this! Get in there! And then what happened? Well, he tried to force himself, but I wouldn't let him do it. Well, I tried to defend myself, but he called me awful names and ripped my clothes and hit me. If I hadn't pulled him off her and beat him up, let me at him! Stop. And then, the next I remember is Rodrigo and him carrying me here to the house. Don't do it. Radames! I never want to see your ugly face again. You never set foot on my property ever again! Next time I see you, I'm gonna blow your brains out! Get out of my house! Get out of my house! Get out! Go! Maria de Los Angeles, how are you? Very terrified. You wretched coward! Rodrigo! <laughs> Rodrigo, please. He left her all alone! Enough! That's enough. You what? That big mouth left me by myself? Maria de Los Angeles... Yes, he did. He got all scared and ran away. If not for me, Ramon Veruso would have raped you. Maria de Los Angeles. Yes, I knew it. My heart told me so. You're a faggot with your sissy ways. You're not a man. Your pants are too big for you. I feel like spitting in your face. You left me. You left me at the mercy of that monster. When I needed your help, you abandoned me. You're not a real man. You're not a man of any quality. That's why I'm not sorry for hitting you. It's the very least you deserve. Beautiful one. Even furious, you're lovely. And one day, you'll ask me to forgive you for this. <laughs> and you, Rodrigo? You're obviously a past master at lying. But we'll deal with that later. Everyone. Everyone, listen. The party is just beginning here at the ranch. Believe me. I've just lost a buyer. But I have the satisfaction of throwing out of my house a pervert who's a sex maniac. And so now, let's all help poor Maria de Los Angeles get over this bad time. And please, don't let this incident spoil my party. Hmm? Hmm. Poor baby. Excuse me. It sounds like something evil happened to you. But he'll get what's coming. Those kind of men always, always get their comeuppance. Mm. Wolf, listen to me. I don't think Rodrigo is man enough to do what he's claiming to have done. I think... You're the one who saved the girl, not him. 
Why are you keeping it quiet? Real men don't talk about it. Their actions say it for them. And Maria de Los Angeles will come to me and beg forgiveness for calling me a coward, for saying I'm not a man. You really like that woman, don't you? Well, let me give you some advice. Keep your mouth shut. You see, women never fall in love with a snake. They can't tell which one's male, which one's female. So you need to be extra nice to them. You are a real man, I have no doubt. You're not a coward. There are many men who aren't really men without their trousers on, but you aren't one of them. So let me tell you, if you want that woman, I'm sure she's there for you. Don't worry, I'm sure she's there. And just exactly what is Radamus Basanta to you to rush to your defense like that? As if he were your man. And why is he upset? And offended, too, when you're called a prostitute, which is, after all, what you really are. Why don't you ask him? No. I'm asking you, dear. And I'm telling you this. I don't want you near him, not as a friend, not as anything, because I'm jealous of everything about that man, even you. And if you insist on having any connection with him after this little discussion today, let me make it clear that I have more than enough power in this town to ensure that you, your crippled husband, and those rats that pass as your children leave town. Verdamas Basanta is my man, only mine, and no one else's. And I pity the woman who challenges that. Well. Since you have already chosen your weapon, the knife, so now I shall choose the place. Every day at three in the afternoon, I'll go to the big pond. At three o'clock exactly, I shall be waiting for you. Because I know that Radames rides his horse every day to that same place. And I also know that you bathe naked there so that he can see you. And if you're lucky, he may do you a favor and have sex. But you're not enough for him. For 20 years, you've kept your bedroom door locked against your husband, Vladimir Aravalo. I feel sorry for you, actually. You must be so desperate for the caress of a man by now. So don't you accuse me of being a prostitute, because the only man you've wanted doesn't want to go to your bed, not even when you offer your services for nothing at all. I'm going to kill you for that, I promise. Well then, we'll kill each other at the same time. Your blood and my blood will flow together.